Hi guys, in this video I am going to walk you through the configuration of MPLS VPN network using MPBGP and 6 VRFs. MPGP is multiple protocol label switching and MPLS converts your routed network to something closer to a switch network. I will be using this topology. We have 6 banks here, A1 and A2. B1 and B2 and C1 and in C2 and between routers for example between R4 and R1 I have assigned a network 10140 because it's between router 1 and router 4 and for example between router 1 and router 5 is 10.15.0 and all of them are a slash 30 they are customers all of them R4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are customers and customer edge. And R1, R2 and R3 are ISP routers and R1 and R3 are provider edge. First, we should configure OSPF between routers here, R1, R2 and R3 because they are ISP's routers. And after that, we should configure MPLS here. And the last thing, we should do we should configure MPLS VPN between customers and customers should pass over MPLS and ISP here some conditions we should pay attention to them for example a bank 1 or a1 should see a2 b1 should see b2 c1 should see c2 another condition is for example b bank 2 also can see bank C1 and C2 and bank A1 can see all of the banks here these are some conditions we should implement in MPLS VPN because of lack of time I have assigned IP address to interfaces uh, for example uh, we should run all of the uh, routers For example, here I should write show run and we do do show run. We can check we have uh, interfaces or not, and we have another routing protocol or not, and something like that. Okay, guys. Now is better. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, we have loopback zero here. One 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 one. It's that thirty two. And interface zero zero. Ten one two one because one is here and two is here. And ten one four two. Ten one four two. Okay and uh, 10 1 5 2 10 1 6 2 and there is nothing more yeah this is for example r1 r2 and r3 and another one for example check r9 here okay uh, do show wrong I want to be sure that there is uh, nothing routing protocol uh, only loopback 9999 and interface 10392 between rotor 3 and rotor 9 and IP address is number 2 and number 1 is for uh, R3 okay there is nothing more First, uh, we will configure OSPF in R1, R2, and R3 in ISP so that Rotor 1 and Rotor 3 can reach each other's uh, loopback zero interfaces. First, start with Rotor 1 and should write Rotor OSPF, for example, number 1 and 
network 10.1.00 what car mask is and area 0 and we have uh, and loopback also should write for loopback is one dot dot and zero 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 and area zero and about uh, rotor two for rotor two we should write also rotor OSPF number one and network is ten dot zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five two five five two five five okay excuse me area zero and network uh, or two 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 and zero 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 area um, zero yeah and what about r3 r2 we should write here rotor OSPF number one and network is 10 dot zero dot zero dot zero and what card mask is one and area uh, zero and um, also we should write for uh, 3.0 and area zero okay okay guys this is finished we will continue by uh, configuring MPLS VPN on the routers and under the interface I should write your exits okay start with rotor 1 configure MPLS we should write here MPLS label protocol LDP This command LDP. You should enable MPLS process with this command. And label is very important. Rotors make up a label to pass over the rotors. And what does MPLS do for us? For example, in ISP, we have a lot of rotors here, but I don't need to, for example, packet from R4, pass over all of the rotors here, for example, 100 rotors. This packet from R4 or R5 or R6 receive a tag or label, and it doesn't need to 100 rotors check all of the packet contents. In this situation, we used MPLS, instead of forwarding packets on hop by hop basis pass are established for particular source destination pairs the rotors make up a label to pass over the rotor another thing we should write here mpls ldp rotor id and loopback zero it means we should use loopback for mpls process and we should enable MPLS under the interfaces. Which interfaces we want to use in MPLS process? Only, only this one, because MPLS is here. R1, R2, and R3. Interface F00, and we should write here MPLS IP. Finish. It's enabled. And what about R2? Again, we should write for R2 exit. 
and right here um, MPLS label protocol LDP and MPLS LDP rotor ID loopback 0 and interface we have two interface here interface range F00 until 01 and we should write here only MPLS IP and for R3 also we should write here MPLS label protocol LDP and we should write MPLS LDP rotor ID and loop back zero and which interface we have here F01 and we should write MPLS IP and we enabled MPLS under the interfaces and now these three rotors are neighbors in MPLS process how we should verify it you should write here do show MPLS LDP neighbors you can see for example for uh, rotor 3 only we have 2 2 2 2 okay which is right and what about rotor 1 and rotor 2 do show for rotor 2 we have uh, 2 neighbors here and we should check we have two neighbors here and uh, one 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 yeah and another one is three 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 is here and now we can check the neighbor are established now we will define VRF to configure separate routing table because we want to establish some connection some separate connection between for example r4 to r7 r5 to r8 and r6 to r9 and other conditions in this situation we should define vrf vrf help us to separate the connection between different rotors by different rotors we should define VRF only in R1 and R3 it's a provider edge we should write here provider edge it's better maybe yeah text edit and select phone a little bigger it's okay guys it's a P and duplicate and here we have two PE here we don't need to configure VRF in R2 because edge is R1 and R3 and this is impulse process because maybe a lot of rotor between R1 and R3 we don't need to configure in all of them only in provider edge okay uh, we should write in R1 this process and we should define uh, VRF here how to define VRF we should write IP VRF for example this is A1 and we should write rotor distinguisher consists of AS number AS number is for this AS is 65,000 and another thing in optional number for example for R4 we should define 100 this is okay and we should write road target this is very important and import for example again 
autonomous system number and for example 100 for R4 because we should define another one in R7 and export export means export this number to another one and import means receive the numbers from other we should also define these numbers on R7 because R7 want to see R4 also okay guys and what about another VRF because we have three VRF here and three banks here and we should write IP VRF for example B1 for this bank and for this bank we should write here number 200 and what about export and import is 200 because we want to see only R8 and R8, R5 on other conditions and IP VRF C1 also okay and in C1 uh, we should write also for example 300 and export and import 300 but we have one condition here for example a bank can see all of the banks here in this situation we should add something to IP VRF a1 a1 also we should receive road target import 200 and export and in special right here uh, a bank to, to all of the banks and all of the banks to a bank it's better and I should write here export in this situation all of the bank can see uh, a1 because a1 is central I should pay attention to it and export for 200 okay guys and I think this is finished for here only I should check something maybe do show um, you should write do show IP VRF here we have a1 b1 and c1 and this is a default ID and for example for VRF a1 oh okay and maybe detail I don't know we have detail or, or not yeah I have detail here for example for for example for a1 check again I have assigned this RD and also can see three uh, 100 for import and export 300 and 200 for import and export I think this is true okay and in R3 also we should define VRF how to define VRF here IP VRF A2 here is A1 and here is A2 but something is same which one is same RD is same autonomous system number S number and 100 and uh, road target import only 
this one only can see R4. In this situation, you should write here only 100. Okay. And for R2, because condition I have right in here, and for B2, we should write 200, export, doesn't not have, excuse me, <laughs> ah, excuse me, we should write here 200, because it's the same with B bank one and uh, export and also import we have one condition for b bank 2 here b bank 2 can uh, connect to b bank 1 this is okay and b bank 2 to b bank c1 and c2 for c1 and c2 rotor target is 300 we should write here 300 and excuse me also export and in this situation c1 and c2 also can see b2 pay attention to it we can define uh, different conditions it depends on uh, your design and your plane this process means we can use this key import key or export key to create connection between uh, different VRF now we have defined VRF and we should enable VRF under the interfaces which interfaces we should assign for A1? This one, in rotor 1, F01, connected to R4. In this situation, you should write here, exit, int fast ethernet 01, and you should write here, IP VRF forwarding A1 because A1 is here and we should associate it VRF with the interface and you can see here after this situation interface fast ethernet disabled and you should write again IP address is uh, 10.1.4.2 and subnet mask is this one and no shot okay this is okay and another one in for b1 we should write in in this interface f10 and we should write b1 and again ip address because we have missed IP address here and we should write 52 and no shot and for F11 for this interface excuse me F11 this interface for C1 and you should write here C1 and again our IP address here and no shot and we should reply this process for router 3 interface 1 F10 and You should write here IPVRF uh, forwarding and A2. Yeah, this is A2. And IP address is 
three seven one because this is one IP address here. The first IP address in this network ID and no shot should write. Okay. Oh. And interface F zero zero. Excuse me guys, there is any problem here. F one zero is your oh, excuse me. Yeah, no is right and you should write for interface F one zero and no IP address because it was wrong and no IPRF exits or come back again int fast ethernet zero zero and IPVRF forwarding a two and IP address is ten three seven one uh, and no shot and for interface this interface you should write here B2 and IP address is eight one and no shot and for this one F11 one one is also C2 IPVRF uh, forwarding C2 not configured we have not configured C2 why? should check maybe to show IP VRF C2 oh there is nothing what did I do oh yes only VRF R A2 on VRF B2 excuse me excuse me guys uh, we should come back to IP VRF C2 and we should write RD this one is 300 same with R6 or C1 and we should wrote target uh, Roll target import and export it was wrong okay yeah it's a very good opportunity to do troubleshooting and I am satisfied about that because um, I can learn something more and more to uh, you and this is okay because it always happens uh, in our configuration and we should come back to interface to fast ethernet one one and again uh, configure VRF under the interface and we should write here IP VRF forwarding C2 and we should write also 
IP address 10.3.9.1 and subnet mask is this one and no shot okay guys uh, another thing we should write we should configure routing protocol between R1 and R4, 5, 6 and another one we should configure routing table and routing uh, protocol simple routing protocol between R3, R7, 8 and 9 let's start with R1 we should write here IP route and VRF A1 this is very important you have three different and three separate VRF table and routing table in this situation you should separate from here IP road VRF A1 and for A1 loop back this this loop back for R4 is this one and solid mask and which interfaces reach to R4 loopback is F10 or right here 1, 4 and 1 okay and for B1 we should write here B1 and loopback is and this IP address is here and this is for C1 loopback IP address and this one we should write also for um, A3 IP road VRF A2 and 7.7.7 oh. <laughs> uh, 25.255.255.255 and we should write here 10.3.7.2 and this is B2 for router number 8 an IP address this one and for router number nine this one okay guys also we should write a static road for r4 5 6 7 8 9 because there is no routing protocol here and we should write here IP road and we should write default road to reach the internet okay and this one is interface to reach internet 10.1.4. number 2 yeah it's okay yeah and also we should write IP road okay 10.1.5.2 yeah I want to be sure about write something true IP road for this one is 10.1.6.2 and about this rotor is Ten dot three dot seven dot one. 
and for rotor eight three dot three eight dot uh, one IP road zero 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 and three dot three and nine uh, one I'll finish it's finished okay guys uh, now the last thing we should uh, write here uh, we should configure rotor BGP between two PE or two provider edge rotor and in this situation we should use and we should configure MPBGP and right here rotor BGP and autonomous and AS number is this one and neighbor is 3.3.3.3 .3 and remote AS also is 65000 and we should write here for uh, also for loopback excuse me up update source loop back zero get you know about, about that and we should and we should create others family vpn version 4 and neighbor is 3.3.3.3 we should activate and this is also next hop self something is from uh, BGP concepts and also we should write here send community and another thing is I think we should write here both yeah this is both and another others family uh, we should right here others family ip version 4 and vrf a1 and the distribute static and the distribute connected for a1 also for b1 we should write and static and connected and also for c1 connected and static oh, i should save something here because there is nothing more and about here do wr and we don't uh, we don't need to configure something in r2 only r3 also we should write here rotor bgp r3 because we want to pass over the r2 and it's like a, a virtual link between r1 and r3 and we should write here this is number and neighbor is 1.1.1 remote as same as number and neighbor is uh it's better right here neighbor update and uh, yeah you can see you can see it's established uh, neighborship with a uh, rotor one and we should write update source also loop back zero and others family vpn version 4 and neighbor 1.1.1 1 
activate and next hop self and send community both and exit and we should also uh, write others family IP version 4 for all of the VRF here A2 and redistribute we should redistribute a static road here and also we should write here connector and for B2 also static and connected for C2 static and connected and do WR okay let's verify the neighbors design VRF designs and uh, ping each other and something like that we want to show you what happened after this situation and for R1 and R2 we should show you something for example in R1 show IP road for VRF A1 for VRF A1 you can see here it has learned loopback 4 loopback 5 loopback 6 7 8 9 and some networks and some subnets but we should describe for you a bank has access to all of the bank here and this situation a1 this is r4 a bank 1 or r4 has access to r5 6 7 8 9 and what about b1 b1 only can see number 5 and number 8 i think we should check you can see here and, and another thing r4 r4 because r4 has access to all of the bank a bank one to all of the banks yeah five 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 this yeah rotor five and eight 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 this rotor eight because it has access to rotor eight and and r4 or four 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 uh, rotor for loopbacks has access to all of the bonds and can see each other okay and what about C1 we should guess C1 only can see uh, 6666 and 9999 and also 4444 yeah and what about Router 3, for example, show IP road VRF um, A2 only has access to number 4 and number 7, yeah, itself. And B2 has uh, access to number 6 and number nine and number five and number four you can see here four five six eight nine yeah yeah and about uh, c2 also c2 also can see uh, c1 and also can see a1 and also can see uh, 888 yeah this is here I, I, I want to show you ping something uh, from for example here for example we want to ping 
rotor 1 from rotor 3 via loopback and you can see ping each other another thing for example we want to ping uh, VRF A1 for example and this is 4444 four, four, four. excuse me guys uh, because we don't have any A1 here you should write A2 here yeah for example for uh, via B2 you can ping also 6666 or 555 or 444 all of them you can check 4.4 and 5.5.5 and also 6.6.6 and for example from 9 also you can ping um, ping so uh, six dot six dot six dot six. Ah, oh, you should uh, excuse me. I should write your duping. Or another thing, for example, in R five also. What is uh, what is five five five? Or uh, eight is better, I think. Eight and for example, right here, do ping four dot four dot four. You can ping also, you can ping six dot six dot six, but you cannot ping seven dot seven dot seven. Yeah, you cannot ping. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like this video and see you later.